Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have more news today. You know, that happened pretty quickly. Already got more news, but let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I have for you guys is another brand new Prime 1 Jurassic Park Velociraptor that has just gone up for pre-order on numerous different websites. There is a new 1 10th scale version that is out. It's a closed mouth version, which now I think would pretty much complete the trifecta of original Jurassic Park Velociraptors that they do have out for sale as far as like the 1 10th scale individual releases. And again, I think just like the others, it looks pretty darn nice. I do have all of the others pre-ordered, so I might as well get this one pre-ordered as well and complete the trio. But it is a pretty cool looking Velociraptor and another fun release from Prime One. Also, as far as Creative Beast Studio and their Eons collaboration goes, they have shown off the sculpt of their upcoming adult woolly mammoth. You can see this is one of the figures that will be released in the Eons collaboration. And we had already seen the baby version. This is the adult version. And of course, it doesn't have the articulated joints or anything in it quite yet. Just basically taking a look at the, you know, sculpt and everything. And it looks absolutely fantastic as I expected it to. Also, and a huge thank you goes out to Paleo Figure as on Facebook they had shared these images which are said to potentially be an upcoming W Dragon Carcarodontosaurus and that would definitely be pretty cool. Certainly has the look and feel of a W Dragon figure that's for sure. Again, I don't think this has been confirmed for sure by W Dragon quite yet. I did check their social media accounts and I didn't see any confirmation of it but if it is in fact a W Dragon Carcarodontosaurus I'm definitely excited for that. Also, again, thank you to Paleo Figure As, but this image was shared by them of Safari LTD's 2024 releases. We haven't really heard anything from them quite yet, so it is definitely nice to at least have a teaser for what they are going to be releasing. There aren't any, you know, confirmation as far as what species and stuff go in this image, but if you get nice and close and you take a look, you could probably get some guesses going as far as what they have releasing for this year. It is a shame to see that Safari LTD's releases have continuously, as far as the number goes, gone down over the years. They used to release quite a lot during the course of a year, but still excited to find out what they will be releasing for this year. And the final thing I have is, again, thank you to Collect Jurassic and from Mattel, but the SDCC, again, has begun, and Mattel has their booth up, and in their booth, they actually had a few really cool displays, first of all, which you can see here. Again, the displays that they've created look absolutely incredible, honestly. I wish I could actually go check this out because, you know, it would be really neat to see in person, but one thing that is actually really cool is the fact that they, within these displays, displays have basically hidden some upcoming Hammond collection releases. First of all, we have an Atrociraptor, and that one does look pretty darn cool. Again, uh, decent looking sculpt, decent looking paint apps. We can't see it perfectly, but overall it does look like a fun release, and I figured at some point they'd get to these Atrociraptors. But there's one that really surprised me, and I don't know how many people are going to feel about it, but personally I'm actually very excited for. There is a Scutosaurus coming to the Hammond collection. Now, I don't know if these figures are the ones that will be revealed for the upcoming Beyond the Gates reveals. It seems strange to reveal them here and then have them end up being on the Beyond the Gates releases. But regardless, there are two more Hammond Collection figures at the very least coming that we now know of. And both are actually pretty decent. But as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.